Many folks today have put away the King James Version of the Bible and opted for a more modern translation. But when it comes to the 23rd Psalm, most folks my age know the King James Version. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. Today, we're focusing on words from that final verse of the 23rd Psalm, that beautiful Psalm that we all learn when we're young. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Notice, not hopefully, but surely, the psalmist doesn't lead off with words like maybe, or perhaps, or possibly, or hopefully. No, he says surely, which is a term of certainty. Surely means absolutely, without a doubt. There are a lot of things in life that we simply can't be sure of. You go for a physical checkup, and you find out that you have a malignant growth. Or you work in the same company for years, believing that your job is secure. But then they downsize, and all you're left with is a pink slip. You pray for your children. You live an exemplary life before them, and you teach them what's right. Then you find yourself down at the police station, trying to get them out of lockup because they were arrested for drunk driving, or possibly doing drugs. As a redeemed child of God, here are two things that you can be sure of. God's goodness and mercy. Now, what's your concept of God? That's an all-important question. So think about it before you answer. Your concept of God will determine your confidence in him. You see, David was far from perfect. Indeed, some of his antics would have made the front pages of today's tabloids. But he never doubted God's goodness and God's mercy toward him. As we see him declare in Psalm 56, verse 9, When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for God is with me. And Hebrews 13, 5 reminds us of these words from Jesus when it proclaims, let your conversation be without covetedness and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. His goodness guarantees that every need that we have can be met. And his mercy guarantees that any sin we commit can be forgiven. Just as sheepdogs drive the strays back into the fold, so God's goodness and mercy will drive us back into his loving arms every single time. And that's the word for you today. I hope you all have a chance to relax and enjoy this week with friends and family as you celebrate the Christmas season. And I hope it is a lot warmer where you are than it is here in Columbus, Ohio. We are currently at a whopping 12 degrees, which is better than twice as much of what it was when we arrived here yesterday. Now, I have to admit that I am more at home with three digits than with just one. And anytime the wind chill has one of those little dashes in front of it, I'm looking for a lot of hot chocolate, maybe even a hot chocolate IV. But 
inside, we're enjoying the warmth of family and friends. And I hope that there is a lot of that going on at your home as well. And I do know that there's hope for warmer weather. And I hope that things will happen in, to be much warmer for you as well as this week wears on. But enjoy this holiday week. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Um, so stay warm and I'll check back with all of you on Friday. I love you. Have a great day.